Here are the top five things I've done to grow my YouTube channel from 10,000 to 20,000 subscribers in just over a month. and welcome back to your video and thank you so much to everybody who sent me fan art over on instagram and twitter i really appreciate it now that being said i know a lot of you guys are waiting for a mobile gfx tutorial and i promise it is coming i'm just working on it there's lots of different things i want to add to it and i want to make it the best tutorial possible for you guys with that being said this suggestion actually came from my google forum where i asked you guys what kind of videos you wanted to see and i can't say the username of this person because it is a little bit not okay for youtube but this is the person that recommended this video to me so to sum this up pretty quickly, my YouTube channel is over three years old, and that's because I used to make Animal Jam videos. Those videos were absolute and so I literally abandoned my YouTube channel for several years. A couple months ago, I decided I wanted to take my channel a little bit more seriously, and so this is how I grew my channel from 300 subscribers to 20,000. I'm going to be ordering these tips for the ones that helped me the least and the one that helped me the absolute most at the end. So the first thing to growing a successful YouTube channel is having branding. Now you do not need to pay anybody for branding, you can do stuff completely for free, that's why I have so many GFX tutorials on my channel. But with that being said, you want a short username with a recognizable avatar. If you're constantly changing your avatar, people won't be able to recognize you. It's also easier to recommend your videos when they come up on their feed because they'll recognize your avatar and your username. It's literally a psychological thing that people will click on stuff they recognize, so when they recognize your channel, they'll click on it, you'll get more views, and then your stuff will get recommended to new people. The second tip I have for you guys is do not make gameplay content or long form content. I know a lot of people want to start a YouTube channel and be just like Flamingo and do gameplay and be funny, but the unfortunate thing is that there's just too much of that, it's so oversaturated. You can be the funniest person on the planet and have the best videos, but people won't see your content because there's so many other videos in that genre and it's dominated by larger YouTubers. For me, my content's tutorials mainly art stuff because I didn't see a lot of YouTubers doing it at the time. So basically just finding something unique that sets you apart from the crowd that you can make videos about. My third tip for you guys is making a community. So this basically means making different social media platforms, a Roblox group and stuff like that to connect your audience. For me, I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. So these both relate to my brand and all use the name ToastRVX. I know a lot of YouTubers use Discord servers. So if you're comfortable with that and at age, you can use a Discord server which is a great way to connect with people. It's just really important that when doing this stuff, you recognize that they're gonna be dangerous people that come onto your platform and people that don't have the best intentions, so you always need to be safe on the internet. If I were to recommend any of these platforms, I'd recommend TikTok. And although it's banned in some of your countries, it's literally the most useful app for gaining followers. The way the algorithm works makes you gain followers so quickly, like I made a GFX account probably a month and a half ago, and it's already at 68,000 followers, and I'm barely active on it. There's one YouTuber called Grizzly or something that used her TikTok to promote her YouTube by saying her progress, stuff she had learned and stuff like that, and people loved it, so they subscribed to her YouTube in turn. Use outside platforms to boost your YouTube. My second last tip is interact with people in your comment section. YouTube boosts your content based on how long people watch your video and how much they interact with your content. Hosting giveaways is a great way to interact with your audience, but you can also do stuff for free. One of the things I personally really like doing is going to my comment section and thanking people directly for saying kind things to me. For example, there's a person called Groove that always comments on my videos and so every single day I'll reply and say their username and say thank you for watching my video. It's really important to interact with the people in your comment section so that they know you appreciate them watching your videos. It's also great to listen to your comments because you'll find a lot of the time people correct you on things you got wrong or they'll give you video suggestions. And finally, the thing that's helped me grow the most is YouTube Shorts. And I know a lot of you guys may be panicking thinking you need to edit stuff, but you really don't. For me, I tend to post a lot of mindless stuff on my YouTube Shorts, like just random videos of me dancing with text over it. Those videos take me two to three minutes to make and usually get about 5,000 views. If you looked at my monthly views for last month, it was about 800,000 and you'll find more than half of that came from my YouTube Shorts feed. YouTube Shorts works a lot like TikTok where it just boosts random things and that's how you get tons and tons of followers. It is so much easier to get subscribers from your YouTube Shorts than it is from your YouTube videos. For context, the Roblox GFX tutorial that I posted about a month ago got about 80,000 views and I gained 800 subscribers from that. But a Roblox YouTube Short I posted got 50,000 views and got me 2,000 subscribers. I kid you not, YouTube Shorts are literally so broken. And the great thing about gaining subscribers through YouTube Shorts is that they'll actually migrate to your channel and watch your longer form videos, which in turn, once you get monetized, will make you way more money. Anyways, my ladies and non binary folks, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you found these tips helpful. If you have videos you want to see in my channel, you can actually go to my description and I have a Google form that you can fill out. I've also made a new GFX commission form that's in my description of my video in case you guys want to order a GFX from me. Anyways, with that being said, here's the fifth winner of my 20,000 Robux giveaway. You've won 500 Robux and make sure to reach out to me on my Instagram or Twitter within 24 hours to claim, otherwise I need to pick somebody else. Anyways, if you guys made it this far and watched my video, thank you so much and I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday. <laughs>